This year we are not doing a traditional Ash Wednesday service. Instead, we're doing a journey of reflection. There will be seven stations all together. You can find a booklet like this. It will probably be just inside the door or with somebody near the door, and it will be the guidebook for the whole thing. Now this is station one, the beginning by the cross. And here is a pathway. The goal on this pathway is that as you walk it, reflect on your own journey of faith. When you feel closer to God, when you feel further away. And as we get further into the other stations, we'll talk about how our faith impacts the world around us as well as ourselves. This is the second station. In Genesis, we are reminded that God made us from dirt and to dirt we shall return. So there's a bowl of dirt here. Run your fingers through it and think about what it means that we are made of the same atoms as the rest of creation. And someday we will return to that. When you've done that, stop, stop for a moment and take a deep breath. The word, Hebrew word ruach means wind, but it also means breath and it also means spirit. What does it mean to you that God's spirit has been breathed into us? What does it mean to you that God's spirit has been breathed into you? This is station three. God comforts us in all of our troubles, but it is a reminder also that we live in a broken world and many of us have broken parts of our own lives. So think about that brokenness. Take a stick. There's a pen here. Write on it something that you see that is broken either in the world or in your life. This is station four. We're reminded that Jesus is God's light in this world. And so what we ask you to do here is their post-it notes. Think about how God's light shines in your life. Write it out. You can do it anonymously. Post it on the wall. Or if you feel more comfortable, take it with you. But before you go, take a moment to thank God for God's light in your life. This is station five, where we think about, start thinking about how we respond to God's light in a broken world. We have to admit that we're all human, and we all have failings, and we all in some way intentionally or unintentionally add to the brokenness of the world. Take a moment and think, what is it that you do that doesn't help at all, but maybe hurts people or hurts the environment, even if you don't know a way around it. Think of something you can do differently, something you can stop doing that adds to the brokenness of the world. Write it on a piece of paper. Then take that paper, and as your commitment to make that change, light the paper, and then let it burn in the bowl. We come now to station six, where we continue to think about our response to God's light in a broken world. But this time we talk about what we can do to help heal that brokenness. Consider, what is one thing? It can be something small or it can be something major. One thing that you can start doing that helps heal something or someone. This is the seventh and last station. In the guide booklet is a long prayer about the brokenness of the world and talking about how we contribute to that brokenness by continuing to behave in ways that do not help anybody. After you've read it, you're invited to apply ashes. Now let me tell you that a little bit of oil and a little bit of ashes goes a long way, so you want to do this very delicately. We've put the oil in a bottle. Spray it just a tiny bit on a finger. You don't need very much. If it shoots to the side, just spread it like I have. 
and gently. You do not want to go deep into the ashes. Just very lightly touch the ashes. You'll have plenty of ash to either mark your forehead or if you prefer, mark the back of your hand with the sign of the cross. Remembering that in this Lenten series, season, we are indeed remembering how we have not done well and how we have done well and what we can do to change and become new people. And that's what repentance really is, to change our lives and go in new directions. So this is for us not just a time of saying we're sorry, it's a time of change and being renewed. Say thank you to God for the fact that we can become new people and prepare yourselves for the rest of our Lenten journey from today. <laughs>